now with the tragic news of both the King and the Princess of Wales' cancer diagnoses. They've taken a step back from royal duties at the recommendation of their doctors. Well, there are 11 working royals. That includes uh, the King and the Princess of Wales. But members of the public are wondering which royals are still on duty. We are joined now by royal commentator Michael Cole. Michael, thank you so much uh, for joining us. Talk us through, this is normally, you know, a big event in the royal calendar as well, the Easter weekend, all the way from uh, Monday, Thursday, right the way through till Monday. What kind of shape is it going to take this year in terms of the royal family's involvement? Mm. Good morning, Rosie. Good morning, David, on, on Good Friday. Yes, there has been a thinning of the royal ranks uh, in recent days, but there will be a, a goodly muster of the uh, family at St George's Chapel, Windsor, on Sunday. The king is determined to be there. It means a lot to him. He is a man of faith, um, and Easter is arguably a more significant, a more important date in the Christian calendar, even than Christmas. Uh, and he's determined to be there, and the queen will be there with him. Um, he finds great faith uh, in, in Christianity and its Anglican expression, which is just as well as he's head of the Church of England and defender of the faith and all of that stuff. As you say, uh, the Prince and Princess of Wales will not be here. They're up in the part of the country where I am at the moment. They're up at Anne Hall, their rather elegant um, country house on the uh, Sandringham Estate, which I think is more or less uh, their home. There we see the King and the Queen, I think that's at Westminster Abbey on a, on another on another ecclesiastical occasion. Of course, what is a bit of a problem because in the absence of the Waleses and the absence of the Sussexes and their children, uh, the ranking royal in the royal pecking order is Prince Andrew. Uh, he's eighth in line of the throne, and I'm sure that there's no force on earth that will stop him uh, being front and center on uh, on Sunday, which is not going to be to everybody's liking. There we see him in happier days at the lectern, uh, and he will be there. Uh, of course, his sister, uh, Princess Anne, uh, will be there probably with her children, or at least uh, her, her uh, uh, Princess Zara Phillips uh, and her children. So there will be a good turnout, but it won't be like in days of old. Now, also, the king was very keen to have a slimmed down monarchy. As Rosie said right at the beginning, there are now 11 working royals. When you look at those working royals, when you look at the Duke of Kent, for example, Princess Alexandra, they're not in the first flush of youth, are they? I'm afraid Edward Kent, the Duke of Kent, is really getting quite feeble. And Alexandra, who did so much for the royal family, was always so elegant and pleasant. She's now in a wheelchair. There we see her in happier days. And she's a really charming person. No, they're not av available. Of course, uh, Princess Anne, who's always trenchant in her comments, in an interview with Canadian television before the coronation, uh, she spoke about her brother's uh, wish for a slimmed down monarchy. And she said, well, that was made in days when there was more of us, she said, but you know, that's my brother, you won't change him. Um, of course, what the, what the king was trying to do before events overtook him was to emulate what his grandfather, King George VI said. And King George VI said that the royal family was always best when it was just us four, by which he meant himself, Queen Elizabeth, who later became the queen mother, and the two princesses, uh, Elizabeth and Margaret. But it's not possible these days. The role of the royal family has changed. They've been very much more involved on a day-to-day -day basis uh, with all sorts of organizations and functions throughout the country. So it is looking a little bit threadbare, but um, the king is determined that the show goes on. And I think, uh, I think Rosie and I think, David, there'll be a good turnout uh, at Windsor uh, to wish him well and express their loyalty uh, and good wishes. You've said the king's determined. We've also been hearing that he's quite frustrated at sort of the pace of his recovery. I mean, personally, how do you think he'll be feeling? You know, words like talking about that the working royals looking threadbare um, won't sit well with him. No, he, he really wants to get back. And I think part of that photograph, that official photograph that was released with his uh, audio message to the Maundy service was to show him at his desk there recording. 
Uh, you know, the King's Speech, uh, echoes of that with his grandfather, George mm. VI, of course. No, he wants to be back. And of course, he's still completely uh, active doing his role as head of state. Uh, having a, the, the prime minister has an audience of him, to use the official expression, every Tuesday. And he's getting through the, the papers. What he's not doing is interacting with the public uh, as much as he did. And of course, that's sensible because when you're undergoing chemotherapy, which I think he is, mm. uh, it's best to avoid all sorts of infections or any possible sources of infections from wherever they come. So he's becoming isolated. But I know he, he really wants to get there and he wants to show that he's uh, on the ball uh, and, and, and doing his stuff. Very important. It's very, very sad for him because the first full year mm. of his reign was a great success with two state visits to Germany and then France and a visit to Kenya, as well as the coronation. And it was all going so well. And to have these uh, double blow, uh, his beloved uh, daughter-in-law, uh, Kate, as he always calls her, uh, and himself with cancer, couldn't have been worse. But we can all only do at this Easter time of rebirth, renaissance, is to wish them uh, well uh, and speedy and complete recovery. Of course, and we absolutely, absolutely echo that here. Michael, thank you so much. Michael Cole.